What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matto. This is The Badass Times. Please, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button below. Give me a like, share, and comment below. It is official, folks. Late breaking news on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. It has finally officially been announced that Zack Snyder's vision of Justice League, which was originally supposed to come out in 2017, it's finally coming to fruition, and it's going to hit HBO Max in 2021. That You heard that right. You've seen the headline. Zack Snyder's official cut, director's cut, of Justice League is coming 2021 to HBO's brand new streaming service, HBO Max. This is what fans have been wanting. They have been begging for, petitioning for, for three years now. Okay. All right. Let that sink in for a second, just to catch everybody up to speed. If you remember, while filming uh, Justice League way back in 2016, uh, director Zack Snyder had some family tragedy and stuff, and then uh, Batman v Superman wasn't received as well as po well as hopeful. So in the middle of production on Justice League, he was taken off the film or he quit or it's always, you know, and, you know, they, they had uh, creative differences. So Zack Snyder left the project. All production stopped on Justice League. It's supposed to be one of the biggest films of all time. Warner Brothers version of the of like Marvel's Avengers. It was supposed to be one of the biggest movies of all time. So, you know, you know, everything starts getting thrown out the window. All types of stuff happens. Uh, they bring in Avengers director Josh Whedon, Josh Whedon to do a ridiculous amount of reshoots uh kind of an unheard of unprecedented thing uh you know sending the budget way over 300 million josh whedon re-sculpted what he already had from Z uh, Zack snyder's vi uh earlier work and created just a it wasn't really josh whedon's fault either he just created a rushed uh thin down simplified version of Zack snyder's original vision uh, actually probably nothing like his original vision and, uh, just created a mess of a film. You, you, if you're watching this, you probably saw that Justice League movie. That movie was awful. That movie sucked balls, man. That is one of the worst comic movies of all time. Uh, and, and how does that happen? Coming off Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, two movies, I think Man of Steel is the best DC movie since The Dark Knight Rises. Or the Dark Knight, depending on, uh, you know, since the Dark Knight trilogy, let's just say that. Uh, Man of Steel is, a lot of people, you know, some a lot of people hate that movie, but I consider it a masterpiece. So, yeah, it's amazing. Henry Cavill is the best Superman ever put on the big screen. Controversial, I know. Batman is, uh, Ben Affleck's Batman is the best Batman ever put on the big screen. The fact is that uh, people... We're turned off by Batman v Superman, so Warner Brothers freaked out. Zack, the you know, to go along parallel with that, Zack Snyder had some tragedy in his family. I believe his daughter uh, died uh, tragically uh, during production. So throw in that with the backlash from Batman v Superman and you know creative differences and stuff. So that's why that film you know happened the way it happened. But anyway. Okay, that's enough of that. So, anyway, the past three years, fans have been petitioning, you know, begging. You know, so much has been going on. Everybody's been saying, release the Snyder Cut. Supposedly, there's been this rumored version of Justice League that couldn't have been finished because we know it wasn't finished. There was not enough production done. But supposedly, he had actually filmed, surprisingly, he had actually filmed pretty much all of it. Like 70 to 90% of it was filmed. But if you know Zack Snyder and you know anything about comic book movies, it's, you know, you've got to have, there's a lot of VFX involved, a lot of CGI. It, you know, and that costs money. I mean, I'm sure there was a work print version of it, you know, meaning that there was a basic, uh, there was a scene there, you know, actors are in place, but it's all green screen, blue screen, whatever. So probably, you know, to an average moviegoer, they would look at it and be like, what is this? So you just can't release anything like that. And that's probably why it hasn't been released to this point. But now, with HBO, HBO's new streaming, Warner Brothers and HBO's new streaming service, HBO Max, coming out next month, uh, you know, speculation, fuel to the fire, it started building 
uh, rumors had started hitting the web just a couple months back, a few weeks ago. And now it is official, though. It is official, official. Here, I'm just going to read. I'm going to cut. I'm going to take that off the screen. Let's go right here. All right, The Hollywood Reporter. It will be an entirely new thing. Zack Snyder's 20 million plus Justice League cut plans revealed. Yeah, I've also heard 30 to 40, so we'll, we'll see. That's what a, a friend texted me earlier who works in the industry. Uh, anyway, HBO Max will debut the project in 2021, possibly in a four-hour director's cut. Four-hour director's cut. Holy crap. All right. Uh, cut or in six TV-style chapters. Interesting. All right, first time I've read that. As the Hilmer gets the game back together with the original post-production crew to score, cut, and finish visual effects. Uh, it's also been rumored that Ben Affleck will return to do reshoots again as, you know, as Batman, as Bruce Wayne, even though he's not even in the future universe. Not only do we have all of that happening, uh, you can go to the Hollywood Reporter and read all this. I'll put a link in the description below. But there's also rumors that this may reset uh, the uh, DC Universe, the DCEU, back to Zack Snyder's original vision, which he started with Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and kind of Suicide Squad, you know, with David Ayer's Suicide Squad and stuff. And this may re reset that vision, and we will start back going in that direction again. Crazy, I know. It's, it's mind-blowing. You know, as a hardcore DC fan, I was, you know, destroyed by how awful Justice League was. And I also don't, don't care for Aquaman either, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, and obviously Suicide Squad was a train wreck. Uh, but Man of Steel, diehard fan right here. Batman v Superman, apologist right here. It's not what we wanted, but it's still pretty badass. You go back and watch Batman v Superman, that movie, it may not be the movie you wanted, but that movie is expertly crafted so well made it's just a beautiful work of art it's you know it's the same deal with uh you know like uh ryan johnson's the last jedi you may that may not be the movie that star wars fans wanted with the last jedi but you cannot tell me sit there as a film fan as a movie fan and say that movie is not well made it may not be the story you wanted it may not be the vision that you had in your head but it's a extremely well-made movie same thing goes for batman v superman and hopefully now we will see what Zack snyder's justice league cut is going to be the snyder cut is coming folks oh man let, let i'm gonna go read through some more of this let's see see what else we've got here i don't know i don't know if there's anything new that i didn't say already but i was just free all this just happened i i completely expected the news day to be over disappointed again i had four days off didn't think there was gonna be any big news to cover all week was finally gonna get this youtube channel stuff going but yeah here's uh the variety with the same story uh but oh it's even on hbo max's twitter now released the snyder cut only on hbo max 2021 check that out they even got artwork to it that is awesome blowed it up on the screen look at that Yes, genius move. What a marketing ploy. If you didn't have people subscribing to HBO Max before, you definitely do now. So, yeah, there we go. I mean, the room, if he, if this actually resets it, and we get the film that we always wanted, if it really is, the fact that he says it's something completely different than what we got, oh, it's mind blowing. Anyway. I'm just I'm just rambling on now. Though that is the breaking news of the day. The Snyder Cut is coming. Zack Snyder's Justice League is coming 2021. I wish it was sooner. That is the only downfall of this whole big announcement. I wish it was sooner. I wish it was next month. How badass would it be if it came out with HBO Max? You know, they had my money before for HBO Max. Now they definitely have it. Uh holy crap. Anyway, that's my rambling thoughts on this breaking news. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below about the Snyder Cut, about the Justice League Cut. Do you really do you think the other rumors are true that the cast is coming back? We see that the uh, crew is coming back. I don't know if they actually say. It says, 
Uh, the gang back together, so possibly. Uh, but anyway, do you think Ben Affleck is going to come back and play Batman one more time, even if it's just for the reshoots? Ah, uh, would be pretty huge. That's a, that would be a big, a big get. Will it reset Zack Snyder's original vision of the DCEU? Will now they continue on with what many had considered to be a whole completely scrap universe now? Uh, what will happen? Anyway. I will see you guys next time. Please, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, share, and comment below. Let's have some conversation about this topic in the comments. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.